what one key message uh, for the audience today is uh, use science and research and evidence to answer the society demands. When I started to teach, I thought mathematics consisted of a series of procedures and skills and a list of things the students had to cover. And the longer I'm teaching, the more I realize that there's, there's big underlying principles. So what I've, I've done in class, I've sort of streamlined or decluttered my students' heads if I can. So try to boil things down to what are the main ideas, what are the main skills we need here to solve these problems. In my, with my own students in school, it's basically a diagram that consists of four circles and lots of mathematics questions involving ratio and proportion at a deep level are the same. So foreign exchange questions, um, dealing with fractions, dealing with all percentages, working with scale, working with similar triangles in geometry, at their basic level are the same question. So if to make it, I suppose to try and make it simple, a question gives you three numbers and asks you to find the fourth one. I'm going to be talking about the Sustainable Development Goals, which are United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals' extremely ambitious agenda on all sorts of things, but they include adult literacy and numeracy. Yeah, I don't know how many people here will know about the Sustainable Development Goals, and I think it's important that people should know about them. I'm sure there are policy makers and people who would know, but whether practitioners know, is another question and if there's going to be a real difference made in the world practitioners are absolutely crucial to that. In Utrecht Blanchestown language literacy and numeracy are a fundamental component of everything that we do. We integrate maths into every subject that we do and um, the students are encouraged, the students are very, it's very student-led within our centre, the students write raps about maths, they do poetry about maths and um, we hold poetry competitions and um, usually throughout maths week they would then they would then submit their poetry and the students actually judge them themselves. We, um, we have a print-rich environment, which means everything to do with this maths everywhere in the centre and it's promoted through every single subject that we do. A top tip I would give is make your class fun. If the kids are having fun, they're going to be motivated. What we use is we use the most stupidest jokes we can come across. What do you call two friends who like maths? Algae bros. Stupidest jokes ever. The kids hate them, but they love them. Um, and the kids now then what they do is they ask us then to tell a stupid joke when they come in. It sets the class up for the start. They're laughing. Um, they then do raps themselves. To, to, when they write the rap up themselves, the rap is on the wall. And the rap has to be to do with something to do with the maths. So then they're actually rapping in their heads as they're actually trying to do the sum they're doing.